people who have run into the crazy ex years later, what were they like? I briefly had a FWB relationship with a girl in college that kept a combat knife under her pillow. The thing looked like a freaking Rambo knife. Things eventually fizzled out with her and we stopped talking. My friends jokingly nicknamed her, Stabby. And the name stuck. Everyone went on with their lives. Two years later, she got expelled because she got into an argument with her boyfriend in a public place and stabbed him in the leg. Turns out the nickname was prophetic. She's doing great and as far as I know she's now in a very healthy relationship. When we met about a year after we had broken up, it was because she called me and wanted to talk. Apparently our breakup was what helped her realize a bunch of traits she hated in her family and had replicated towards me and her previous relationships and wanted to apologize. We hugged, chatted, had dinner and then each went on to live our lives. We've texted a couple times since and I'm glad to see she took the decisions towards the path she believes it is her better version. Mine called me on her wedding night crying because they brought her best friend in for a threesome. And her new husband was banging the best friend currently. Never been so glad to be just a friend. Deleted. Like three years later, she told me she really missed me. I said we should catch up sometime. And gave her my new number. Got a bunch of texts saying I ruined her life. Because she called her new BF my name during sex. Blocked her immediately. They were the same as they were before. I was different though. At that point I'd realized she wasn't crazy and that when we were together I wasn't emotionally. Mature enough to see how I was responsible for a lot of the problems in our relationship. When I looked back on her as a person and not as a crazy ex. She became someone I was proud to have had an encounter with. I was happy to see we didn't damage each other too deeply. I'm grateful to see her success. I was walking down the street and she slowed down to offer me a ride. I accepted because her hair was a different color and she was wearing big sunglasses. So I mistook her for a friend. Once I got into the passenger seat, I saw the toddler in the car seat behind me. Not mine. Who proceeded to ask, Mommy. Where's his girlfriend? Quote. She then drove me to my girlfriend. Now wife. S house. I didn't have to give her directions despite the two of them never meeting. It was frightening. That's when I found out she was my crazy ex. She broke up and ghosted me. Years later I ran into her and we talked and it turns out she broke up with me because. Get this. I wasn't jealous of her guy friends. Her friends that she was friends with before I ever met her. Talk about a dodged bullet. She joked about how her new ankle monitor. Some minor crime so it wasn't super crazy as much as it was weird to bring up was still more fashionable than the anklet I gave her when we dated. To be fair it was a hideous anklet. Had dinner with an ex about 10 years after we broke up. She wasn't crazy before or after we broke up but turns out her now ex-best friend, roommate was. Apparently after the breakup her then best friend pretended that she was now dating me. The roommate would as my ex if it was okay that we were dating and ask my ex if she could sleep somewhere else so we didn't keep her up and what not. I was floored when I found out. I never even saw the best friend after we broke up. I wouldn't call it running into when you're at court getting a restraining order over three years after the breakup of a relationship that lasted barely over six months. He behaved himself. He tried to explain himself and the judge interrupted him and didn't let him say anything else. The screenshots I submitted spoke for themselves. Haven't heard from him since. But he his mom did get a restraining order against him since. 
Maryland Judiciary Case Search can show some interesting findings. She got therapy. Had a kid and seems to be doing okay for herself. I had someone else's crazy ex show up once. Right after college I bought a house. This was back in the times when someone could do that. About three months after moving in. At like 3.30 in the morning there was a banging on my door. I got up groggily and went to the door. There was a guy yelling about letting him in and that he had changed. I told him he had the wrong house and he flipped his shit when he heard a man's voice thinking his. One true love was with another man so he bangs on the door harder. I'm not opening up the door but there is a window right next to it. So I walk to the window. Pull back the curtain and show him the .45 in my hand then tell him to fuck off and that whoever he. Wants doesn't live here anymore. I have no idea who he was but he is apparently as crazy as when he was dating. And hash x 200 b. Edit. I love that the most unbelievable part of the story is that I owned a home. What can I say? The late 90s hit different. College degrees still paid and the housing market was enterable. I honestly feel bad for people out there right now because home ownership has become an unattainable goal for so many. Not my ex but my husband's ex. I ran into her at the store. I had my baby with me. She ran up to us and started cooing at my child. Saying he had her eyes and wondering if it was really her baby instead of mine. I gave birth to this child. I don't know what she was thinking. Very weird encounter. I stopped going to that store.